Alright guys, so I'm doing this real quick right now. I'm going to open up the box. There's like a little thumb thing here. So you can lift it up and it breaks the seal on it so that people, well, Apple or whoever you buy it from, will know that you opened it. Um, so there's a little seal right around here. So I just kind of got settled in and read up a little bit about it and seeing what I need to do. So the first thing I need to do is to get this little, wow, this thing's light. It's very light. I have to see because I have a uh, the newer Airport Extreme router that has the uh, four or six or eight antennas. I don't remember. It's the one that came out last year. It's the latest version of it. And uh, you have to plug in the power, of course, and you've got to plug it into your router. Well, you know, all I really have is my airport, and I have a cheap little. Um, Eight port, you know, uh, net gear um, router that I power most of my other stuff with, uh, all my printers and stuff. So that, and, and I don't know why Apple does this, but they only have three uh, Ethernet ports on the back of their routers. I, I just can't believe that. I mean, everybody else has at least five or eight. Plus, you know, the main input one from your modem. But Apple only has one input from the modem and has three outputs. I don't know why they think that, you know, everybody knows that LAN is 100 megabits. Um, I understand that N, wireless N, is 120, 40, I forgot. I'm just not into tech specs right tonight. Um, so I'm just going off on the hip right now so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this in because I got my printers and stuff plugged into the other one so I guess just for the sake of testing out I'm just gonna have to unplug that one and do it so I'm gonna do it right now and I will be right back with you guys so here's the main unit I gotta plug in uh, Ethernet cable there's an Ethernet cable supplies with and the charger and here are the bolts so I'll let you kind of see these things. Wow, this thing's heavy. It is very, very heavy. I don't know exactly what it says. 600 lumens. Um, basically, uh, uh, 50. And everybody has said, people have said, ah, it's not that bright. A lot of people, other people have said, they're bright enough. So, I don't know. I've looked at a lot of different things on YouTube. Uh, you'll probably have to make your own judgment. You know, mileage may vary. It's a regular bulb. Everything is inside this metal casing for everything that this bulb does is inside here. And you're going to have to realize that if you have a wireless router and your wireless router is like you know, way across your house, you're not going to be able to get this bulb. Uh, one thing that I learned that I was told that, or I saw in, in a video, is that was complaints is that it just doesn't act, you know, when you slide it to do like a dim or you ask it to change a color, uh, sometimes it doesn't respond, sometimes it's just slow response. But, you know, if you have got a really good connection, I've got a 200 megabit down, 50 megabit up with Cox, Cox Communications, it, internet, and I have the best router that there is. My router is in my studio. Uh, and everything else, you know, all my all my Apple TVs, all the devices work perfectly all throughout the house, very fast. So I don't see why this won't be able to, you know, hook up to the base station here. Um, that's going to be sending a signal from my uh, router. So I'm going to hook that up right now, and I'll have another video. Okay, be right back.